Hey, hey, welcome back to Common Sense TV. I'm your host for today, King Rems. To my right, we've got the lovely Soraya. How you doing? I'm all right. What's up? To my left, we've got Jane. Hey. How you doing, girl? Feeling good and bright. <laughs> and we've got a resident big man, Cockney Black. That's right. <laughs> what's, what's, what's so kingy about you? Why aren't it Queen Rems? K-Y-N-G-R-3-M-Z, at me. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh. And we've got our resident funny man with the, the new haircut. HD cuts in the building. We've got a man like Jimmy Conway. I love you. You look, you look amazing, babes. She, she nodded, so yeah. I'm gonna take her. Yeah. yeah? Are you taking her? Where are you taking her? Don't worry about that. Let's start, <laughs> let's start the show, yeah? All right, the topic we're covering today is plastic surgery. When is it needed, if it's needed at all? When is too much? How much is too much? Um, these ridiculous modifications that people get, like I've seen people with horns in their head, their tongue split. Horns, it's horns. crazy. Horns, horns. horns yeah. yeah. What are the regula regulatory services in place? How do we moderate it? And what part, if at all, does self-esteem or mental illness play? Massive. The thing so, is with, with you gonna ask something? Yeah, I was just gonna say, what are your views? This is kind of a topic that I brought to the table on the yeah. back of um, Katie Price. Mm. So the, the kind of the work that she's undergone, I think she spent about half a mil on surgery. And it's got to the point where some surgeons now don't even take payment from her. They literally say, just promote our services. So I think yeah. it's like the last facelift or the one before that. Right. She went to Turkey on the proviso that they'll provide the surgery for free. All she'd have to do is promote it on social media. Yeah, there's been a couple of other people, a couple of um, comedians and such that have got like their teeth done and stuff like that. And the same thing, it's just come over mm. and just promote us and that's all we need. Can um, or it's a cut price even. But teeth though, in terms of like, if you're looking at it, Getting your veneers done, is that as bad as getting the BBL, Brazilian butt lift, I had to look it up. Mm. When you're getting the dermo fillers, when falls, you're getting all those kind yeah, of things. Yeah, but it all falls in the same place, because right. obviously if you're now conscious about your teeth and mm. you want to get it done, and it's something so small, mm. what's so ne necessary for you to get it done? Can I just cut in, like, right now, mm. you touched on social media, you talked about um, getting the teeth done and all that sort of stuff, but bringing it all together, let's look at why do people get plastic surgery? And I, I kind of broke it down to two folds. Mm. Number one, your childhood traumas and the influences like your parents, like, oh, you have, like, you know, Asian parents, oh, your eyes are so small. We want that, <laughs> that Western <laughs> big eye, you know, double eyelid, yeah. all the, number one pop, yeah. number one plastic surgery in China is actually double eyelid surgery. What You're the hell like, is double oh, eyelid surgery? What the hell is that? What is so that? it's called uh, Asian blepharoplasty. So we can have eyes like white people, you know, or big yeah, and my like, eyes, you can't massive. Really see it. Do you know what, I'm not even gonna lie, I thought that was something that you got in like South Park. I didn't think that was a real thing. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 Yeah, yeah like one of my friends actually got it done and it's like really, like my cousins have it, da, da, da. So basically, Christ. Like this then touches on to social media, right? Yeah. Like the, so one end, childhood influences. Oh, wow. yeah. The other oh, end social is media. social media and the environmental influences. Yeah. That could be your peers, mm -hmm. that could be social media. We live in a world where um, our social currency is the likes and the, and the attention oh, that we God. get. Do you know what's funny? You should say that. There's a lady who was on X Factor. Her name was Chloe Kahn. Yeah. Um, by the age of 27, she'd had like something like seven procedures and I think she's still undergone work. Mm. She was a beautiful girl to begin with, but mm -hmm. kind of she shifted her aesthetics at this point. She was saying that it's become so casual for women to speak about surgery that like she'd be like, I'm in the salon and my, my hair, my, the, the person who's doing my hair is talking about I'm going for yeah. a Brazilian butt lift next yeah. week. Mm. People are talking about it like they're going out to fucking for sandwiches. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, you know. that's, that's what it I is. It's become, sorry, yeah. it's become so much part of the cultural vernacular now. Mm. It's just so normal to speak about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as, as simple as choosing your dinner later on in the day. Yeah. yeah. And you can speak about it yeah. and no yeah. one will look at you away. It's self-esteem. Self-esteem is so large when it comes to these things. And I think some women, sorry to cut you, some women address it, they look at it different because there's the whole non-invasive surgery now. Yeah. Mm. So women are what saying, surgery? well, non-invasive. So it's not, it doesn't require major surgery. So things like Botox, dermo fillers, yeah. things that don't require you to be put out with um, anaesthetic. Mm. It's massive, massive industry. Like nine out of 10 procedures are actually Botox and dermo fillers. Like the, um, the plastic surgery industry is like 3.4 yeah. billion pounds yeah. annually. Mm. It's a massive, massive industry. And I the think, problem, yeah. sorry, to, no, the sorry. problem with the, um, that industry is you don't need to be regulated. Yeah. Yeah. So you do not need to have a medical qualification to administer Botox or Dermo filler. It's off license. It's off license. And the way that people are getting around things is crazy. So there was a French um, company that was scandalized for using a du industrial strength silicone in breast, in breast augmentations and breast, um, breast um, 
enhancement surgeries. So people just feeling like, like breasts and it's like <laughs> concrete, it's like tees <laughs> that, like, that feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. actual like, pavement. Like, like, yeah, yeah, construction <laughs> site tees. It's crazy. Nah, fuck. It is wild. I'm I telling think, you. I um, think it's it's. Uh, I think we're too used to judging people's decisions. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I do feel like if you're going to get surgery done simply because you want to feel beautiful, there's a deficiency within your system is what yeah. I think sure. he was saying. And yeah. that's, that's definitely brought on by social it's pressures. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, I feel like people can't just be themselves or be happy mm. with yeah. what yeah. they're naturally blessed with, whether yeah. your tits are big or small. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm whether your, your nose is pointy or curved, why does it have to be this yeah. shape? Why, yeah, is it, exactly. why is, yeah. why is this so, definition of beauty, your nose has to look that your yeah. lips must be that? Your, do, do you know what I mean? In terms of how you guys, like as, as men, in terms of your relationships with women, what's your perception of it? Because obviously we're on the other side of the fence. Like I see it as like, girl, you just need some self-esteem here. But in terms of kind of what kind of draws you in and what you're attracted to, mm. how would you kind of convey if a female friend of yours or somebody that was a love interest was getting me, work or considering getting work? For me, when it comes to a love interest, yeah. I prefer a woman that's imperfect. Mm. Like I'm not, I don't want you to get all these um, shots and all these like extra things. You're trying to give me some shots, man. Yeah. 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 Trying to give you some some time for shots, but that's different. You know what I mean? But, hey, hey. but it's like I don't I don't want that. I'm not yeah. looking for that. I don't need you to look like this completely perfect caricature yeah. that you've seen yeah. on the gram or mm. on chat magazine, magazine or whatever. I don't yeah. care about none of that. Like what you look like as you've grown older, it's fine. Mm. I personally ain't ain't a fan of all of that. As me though, mm. there's people outside that will disagree heavily I don't really give a fuck it's what I think and what mm -hmm. I feel yeah I like you just getting up in the morning you might look like shit and then you just normally do some shit like wash yourself put on some nice clothes if you want to throw on a little face up and whatever mm -hmm. and then that's you that's fine that's yeah. not that's not natural. Yeah. be natural be as natural as you can be I think For me, when you have like a cleft lip sorry to cut you um when you have like a cleft lip or mm. something like an imperfect sort of like just say if you don't have a fully what we say a standard face, yeah. then you might have surgery just so you don't get looked at a, a bit more or stared at. Do you get what I mean? Like confident. If there's a medical issue, you know, yeah, that's, that's, that's when I breathing issues. Yeah, and I feel like that's when it can be, or it should it should be like an option. I mean, obviously everyone has the option, but in mm. the sense that when um, when I was growing up, there was a, a a boy who used to come on the bus and he had no nose, so he had just two holes. Mm. And obviously, as kids, we didn't know, yeah, so and everyone kept looking at him. Mm. So he had to now get used to everyone looking at him. Mm. And in that in that sort of circumstances, if he did get his nose like a surgery to replicate a nose, I could see why he'll do it. If that makes sense. There's a big difference between getting something for reasons of vanity yeah. as opposed to getting something for quality to, of life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you're getting something, 100%. like for example, if I got something to improve my hairline, by the way, I never will. If <laughs> I got something, my guy. I'm never, I'm not happy. Dead hairline for life. But <laughs> if I did, it purely because I know I have an issue with vanity on the, with regards to that, yeah. right? As yeah. opposed to if I had, let's say. Same thing with yeah. the nose, or even a cleft lip, or even even something completely different. Like I, I've got a missing eye. Yeah, right? exactly. If when I'm getting something, yeah, yeah, if I'm getting something to, to correct that, that's because I just want to fit the Yeah, I'll be better. Accepted. And make sure, yeah, exactly. And then yeah. there's like other things like tattoo, because we're talking about plastic surgery, but plastic surgery in essence is a modification of your body, right? Yeah. So it then is, yeah. you, when you put tattoos and piercings on you, that's still a modification. But for me personally, tattoos is like more spiritual individual but that's a different personal. standard though because yeah. a lot of people if you look at tattoos for what it is it's art mm, when you true. start getting like tattoos on your eyeballs and shit like that then you know what we need to talk yeah, about that really, yeah. but you and know that stuff means? i don't mind too much because they're trying to no uh, let me hear me out I don't mind someone doing something radical that suits them because mm. that's what they want to be. They want to be out the Hold norm. Them. Radical like, no, wait, radical as in, for example, if someone's in their head, yeah. <laughs> the no, the but, the 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 <laughs> no, but for example, they're doing that because that's what they feel comfortable. They're not trying to beautify and get more attention. They're not. They're not doing, they're not it. doing it for attention. Ooh. They're doing it for no, some type of attention. No, but that's not the. That's not the same. Attention it's not societal as, norm. Exactly. It's it. not trying to. For example, what I have an issue with is if someone gets their butt done. Claim you've done it. Don't make it out like it's all natural and it's all, you know, it's all real. Do you get what I mean? If you've got your nose done, accept yeah. it and yeah. move on. Like, be proud yeah. that you have done surgery if you feel like you've done it for enhancement. Yeah, Lil' Kim, Lil' Kim, we know you have surgery. Why do it and then 
deny and then deny it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's what really you asked me earlier. Of, yeah, in terms yeah. of your interpretation yeah. of kind of the, the so, funeral side um, of things. I'm going to sound like a hypocrite, and I know I have. Go on. <laughs> do your yeah. thing, go for it. As you do, scrolling through the gram, there are some figures you come across, you can see there. Do you double taps? Of course not, it's dangerous. <laughs> but um, there are some figures you see, like, okay, this figure looks nice. Mm. Everyone's got their own preference, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, personally, if you exercise to keep yourself well, mm -hmm. your body looking well, mm -hmm. yeah. no problem, of course, because you're doing things like use it naturally. Mm. And the majority of guys I know, if they had to choose between, uh, let's say, an enhanced body through surgery, mm -hmm. yeah. that looked exactly the same as someone that had been hard to the gym and fit mm. yeah. and gone through yeah, yeah. hard work. Okay, some people have it naturally, naturally yeah. curvy or, or, or whatever else. Mm -hmm. Most of the guys I know would say the natural bird, even mm, though serious? they would look exactly, exactly. the same. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, but and I've got some friends that they, they don't mind fake boobs and a fake yeah, bum and yeah. whatever else. But is there I, a line you draw though, personally? To me, me personally, I would prefer the natural way. But if you say we met and you already had surgery, mm -hmm. I mean you get on, cool. Mm. That's so, it. So then, yeah, that's yeah, my cool. my However, yeah. if I was with someone yeah. and they were at the point of decision making, mm -hmm. oh, I want to get a butt lift or I want to <laughs> I want to have my boobs or my fillers in the lips or the cheeks, I would advise them against that. Okay. But it's not my choice, it's their body, they do mm -hmm. what they feel. From an Islamic perspective, you've only allowed plastic surgery when... There's a medical reason for exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. If, yeah. if, if you like what you said, there's, yeah. you've got a problem with your nasal passage yeah. or your nose, a cleft lip, you, and you feel like because of your for lack of a better phrase, your natural deformity. Yeah, exactly. Mm. That yeah. it could be corrected to put things yeah. back to yeah. so how much is what you feel to be normal, then yeah, the, that's fine. From the environment we live in, like one in 10 want to have some form of enhancements. For you guys, is there a, a cutoff point? Like how much is too much? So there was um, the human Ken doll. He's had over that's 700 right. surgeries. Yeah, yeah. He's had things from like bicep implants, tricep implants. He's like now going through transgender yeah. to become yeah. a woman. I'm baffled, yeah, right? No, he's he's undergone over 700 yeah. cosmetic procedures, yeah. right? So where is the line? Where is the line of, okay, listen, there's... You can only advise people, people yeah. Uh, you can only give people advice. It's in, um, I read it this morning, actually, because we were to do a bit of a... I had to find that to make sure I was I was knowing what I was going to say. About, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a it's, it's in chapter four, verse 119, 120 in the Quran. It says that um, basically the devil is going to tempt you to change what Allah's created, mm -hmm. meaning yourselves. So we know if there's a man like that and he wants to change this and change that, to cut, give himself boobs or cut private parts yeah. off and do whatever else and keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. There are whispers. From I know you don't believe in that kind of stuff, but, but it's not that they're whispers from a spiritual side. From, That's interesting. So from does that adhere to also the women who get like boob jobs, lip fillers, change their features, like Lil Kim, like the bride of Wilderstein, mm. who's had she spent around four million pounds on surgery. Mm. Like, like we need to like have a cut in or a cut yeah. away of what this woman looks like off. because it's I, scary. I think yeah. Underlining it is mental health issues yeah. or insecurities. Yeah. So it depends on how insecure you are. Because yeah. and naturally humans we're greedy, so we have a little bit. We get used to it. We want, want some more. more. You get 0 0.5 meals, you want two yeah. meals in your list. That's, that's, that's that's you know, and then you've got <laughs> the thin line between determining what is an issue with your mental health as opposed yeah. to a, a, a common insecurity. Yeah. yeah, you can easily say, Oh, yeah, well, you've got mental health issues because you want yeah, to. Well, right. mm. I think mental health is a bit strong, Jim. It, that's what I'm saying. It, yeah. 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 People, it is a no, there's, no, there's people that yeah. do have mental health issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body dysmorphia, yeah. I feel like mental health. I've got that, but I've got it the opposite way. Like, in my head, I think I'm a size four. So I pick up a dress in the shower. It's not good, yet. So I go to the shops and I'm picking up a dress. And I'm like, this will fit me. <laughs> it's not even the size of my leg. Like, you're some Caribbean army business, <laughs> yeah, bro. See, so I've got the opposite. Like, you know, there's some people that look at themselves and they're small mm. and they think they're a lot bigger. Mm. Whereas That's me, small yeah, I, I weigh 93 kg. Mm. So oh. for, when people look at me, they don't think that. And obviously, fortunately, most of it is on my backside. Mm. And that's hey probably saying me. Yeah. Hey. That's probably saying me. I'm going to get her to get up in a minute. <laughs> <No. right? laughs> 
Let's go, my girl. No, and that's probably that saved me maybe four or five k. How much is a BBL these days? Yeah. But, you know, but here's yeah. the thing: in terms of those kind of procedures, Turkey is a hotbed for these things. Right now, yeah. and there's no yeah, regulatory yeah, there's no services. Yeah. I was reading an article. This woman had a cardiac arrest on the table. Yeah, yeah. Her surgeon didn't yeah. tell her. Yeah. It wasn't until she came back here and nearly died yeah. when the um, her doctor informed her and said to her, "You've got um, chest injuries." Some um, <gasps> consistent with somebody performing CPR on you. Wow. It's crazy. But even Kanye, Kanye West's mo- uh, mo- mother, he, yeah, she, she passed, passed through yeah. complications yeah. due to plastic surgery. Oh, and this is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's so yeah. easy. It's so okay. easy for us to say things. Sorry, one moment. Yeah. It's so easy for us to say things to people like, no, you shouldn't get it, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. Are, we doing, are we giving these people the correct advice? Yeah. Are we sitting down and saying these are the complications that could arise, especially mm. if you've got health issues? If you mean, you like, like, no, but here's no, the thing: not, surgeons, no, 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 surgeons no, no, do. No, surgeons do, and I think this is where it, the company yeah, comes yeah, in. If you're a doctor, listen, like, if you, you're right, a doctor, you can't tell me. You can't tell me. Don't yeah. do this. That's my body. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm being the advocate, I'm no, accepting what it says in Islam. Yeah. I'm not going to go and yeah. pump this. But you can't tell these people. Yeah. You can't change this. You, you ain't got no right. No, no one has no, that. Not if me friend, on, no, it's their bodies. Not me no one has. If you can't stop a guy from going to the gym and getting his arms massive, yeah. you can't stop people from injecting steroids. No, you, can't, you can't do none of that. How are you, any of us, just uh, let me land. How, how, how are any of us, mm. we can't point our fingers at anyone and say you should, you shouldn't. You can just advise. If you are my friend, that's it. Hang on, last thing. Yeah. Realistically, I'm, I'm, yes. I will let you go on, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. go on, go on. Last thing is, this mental health label is thrown around too loosely. Like, someone can be sitting at home perfectly fine and well, they've yeah. got some lip fillers. Now you're sitting there, they've got mental health issues. But that's no, what I'm saying, no, you're no, afraid no, of There's a border. Not, not, not like that. There's a border. That's a border. Yeah. Yeah. very flippant yeah. label, and I can understand yeah, that. Like, but I think, in terms you're of. You're not like, like, mental health, mental health. Quickly. No, 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 there, there's, a, there's a label for that. Mm. If you're just getting a little nip and tuck it. here and there, this whatever. Like personally, I don't judge that. So but I stop? think, I think as you surgeons, there is an ethical obligation because at current, a lot of these things. Like if you're a doctor, you're regulated. You're regulated by the General Medical Council. There isn't that regulatory body for people who do plastic surgery. So mm. the problem is, you're getting people with money who may or may not have a mental health issue. That's that's objective. It's, it's, it is what it is. Mm. Are going undergoing things that surgeries that are invasive that could end their life that is but dangerous Rem, yeah. with you there being, is an ethical obligation with, for that with you, with you Rem working for the health service right yeah with you, health, yeah. do you really think that with people if people had let's say there was a governing body yeah, right yeah, yeah. and there were there was someone who um, has some form of mental health issue mm-hmm. right card carrying they're diagnosed that and all, mm. and all of that. Do you think carry in? That, like they 100 percent it's them. Like if you've got that diabetes, way. you carry a card on it. So it's like you're, you're, you're solidified as a diabetic. Yeah, you're 100 percent this is what you, you, t- you take pills for it or whatever, you oh, are 100 percent yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of that. Right? And there is this governing, there's the governing body. Do you mm-hmm. think that they will actually stop that person um, getting some form of surgery because of their mental health issues? Do you uh, think that do you think they'll have that capacity and that, and that power to? I, do you know what? In terms of the greed of the private industry, no. Mm. But in terms of the National Health Service, you have to have a, a moderate to severe psychological issue that has been proven in order for you to be granted plastic surgery, which okay. I, I don't personally agree with. Okay. As much as I'm within the LGBT community, I don't agree with people getting transgender operations on the NHS. Right. Well, so what you're saying, correct. that if they're, if they're proven to have some mental issue, they're allowed to make a decision to have plastic surgery? Yeah. That, yeah. Now, this is what I'm saying. Well, that's that's even even if the governing body did allow it, it. Yeah. even yeah. if the governing body did allow it, what's stopping that person from going to another country and doing that? Now, I'm well, sorry, here's, one here's moment. the issue with that. There needs to be a regulation over here because yeah. four out of five surgeries done on the NHS is to correct com- cosmetic issues that have been gone created wrong, basically. Yeah, that have yeah. gone wrong. So now, there needs to be some kind of regulation. Yeah. <sighs> now, my point that I'm actually going to say close into what you were saying before. Yeah. Mm. So you were saying no one has the right to, to say you can't, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's, now, it's as far as I'm concerned, I mean, me, like, there's, there's, there's the rules that God set down. Yeah. And anything outside of that, yeah. it's just... It's just Advice. Yeah, that's yeah, your yeah. comprehension, but, but yeah, in terms yeah, of kind of like the wider I mean, environment if who's I, outside if of the I'm your capacity. friend, yeah. and let's say for this particular time, you're not Muslim, right? You're just a, you're just a guy yeah, who wants to get exactly right. And joke. I'm your friend. You want to get no, you want to get surgery. Me, me as your you you <laughs> you. And yeah. I'm saying I'm I as your friend. I feel like it is my obligation to say to you. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. So that's So for you to say to me, 
oh no, nah, but you can't, you can't tell me what to do. I'm gonna do it. I feel like you're not being respectful towards me as your friend. That's mm. literally just mm. trying to look out for you. I don't think it's a matter of respect. It's a matter of I'm asking you for your advice. Yeah. But advice for anyone, mm. you take what you leave, in it. No, of course, of course, but at the same time, I'm saying, and it's, it's not a dis- it's not a disrespect for me rejecting your advice. Don't take it as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a, it's, it's just it's a matter of isn't it's it? my yeah. decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing have. what you got to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have spoken to some other people, and I'm just going to do it anyway. Yeah, because yeah. Be, but, but then, but then again, because yeah. that's my decision. Yeah, you might say something, and I'd be like, oh, you know what? I don't forget know. it. And that's why I'm asking your advice. Like how, no, many, right. how many, how many, how many, realistically, how many, how many of Lil Kim's friends do you think of Terminus said to her, girl, you have gone too far because she was a beautiful I think, woman. Beyond that. I think when you've got a certain amount of money and your friends are related to that. They're yes people, you've got isn't a, Yeah, so exactly. You, you have less of natural friendships and more of yes people yeah. around it. And I think, I don't, I don't, I think, I don't think you can call that. I don't we, think you can call that. I don't think you can, I know we're going a, a, a little bit off on a tangent. I don't feel like, if you're wealthy and you're from a wealthy environment that you've got, like, you ain't got real friends because of the wealth. The majority you may have, like, mm. you may have, like, yes people around you because of your wealth, but, mm. like, that's the, there's that's, yes people on the yeah. roads, isn't there? Yeah, so, that's, like, the morality. Saying, so. Sorry, yeah. that's the morality of the individual, because if you've got people around you who are telling you the realness, mm. and there's people that haven't, that's down to you and kind of your ego to take the advice of whomever you listen to. Mm. So just to kind of encapsulate it, I know that you've got kind of your views in terms of your background in terms of being South Asian. Yeah. Is it a mental health thing? Is it a self-esteem thing in terms of like pressures so, and what, what's your view? Yeah, so I think personally, society, like from the very start, when a child is born, we yeah. start judging it. Like, oh, the nose isn't straight, the eyes aren't doing this. In, in Asian culture, they actually like try to stretch out the nose yeah. to make it that, yeah. that mm. shape. Yeah, you, when pinch the newborn baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just to... To be honest with you, yeah, I'm not done, done the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So That's not a problem. No, what, what, what happens no. is, if, if a child's born and, and the nose is too flat, you can build the bridge of the nose from from a youth, then as as they grow up, the nose will grow like straight yeah. up. But that's, that's, but that that's quite well known. No, but that fits in with the whole white supremacist sort of ideals. Of, why? Of what, why? Why does no, it? No, it's a European nose. So this building a bridge of a nose has got nothing no. to do with white supremacy. No, that's no, not my view. My culture do it because they want you to have a straight. You want to have the same yeah, European nose. Have, just a like nice nose. Now, for example, when it comes to like skin color, colorism in Asian culture is a big deal. Mm. The darker you are, the less desirable you are. Like you would not skin even you you would not people won't pay a dowry to even marry you. Like that's how bad it is. So mm. I'm lucky I'm British and I can find someone because I'm British. I can go to Bangladesh and they'll marry me. They'll pay to marry British. me because I'm British. British. So similarly to the Caribbean culture of the, the skin bleach and kind of like the vibes culture. That, 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 that yeah, we've got a fair and lovely cream that they apply daily. They even tell me, are you not applying your cream? And I'm no. like, yeah. they've and, got fair and they've got fair and, bl- uh, fair and lovely, we've got Blue yeah. Bomber. Cake yeah. soap. And you know, the only Blue Bomber. Blue Bomber. Cake soap, yeah. yeah. Where's that? Yeah. Like Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cake soap. Yeah. Yeah. Cake soap. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard of Blue Bomber. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason Bomber, I'm man. not insecure with how I am is because I was brought up in Hackney where most of my friends were Nigerian. So they so saw, yeah, yeah they, they put me up, whereas my family were constantly putting me down. Yeah. If I didn't have my friends <clears> at school, and this is where I think society play that part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I didn't have my friends at school telling Lifting me, you actually, all over you're you, beautiful, basically, yeah. mm. I actually chose to go with my friends then choosing what my family had to say. Ha, ha. Mm. So my sister is completely fair and she's got a sharp nose and she's what is desired in Asian my culture. Said sharp yeah. nose, you, know. <laughs> you know, she's got all the features that they, even Bengali community, they refer to the prettier people as, oh, you look Pakistani. Yeah. Yeah, so it would be like, oh, she looks Pakistani. I, when I was young, I used to get dissed by like relatives saying, you can't be her sister, you must be on adopted. The fl- on the flip side, in the, in the Jamaican culture, if you look more uh, natural, no, not, not natural, if you look more natural, if you're darker, whatever, oh, you, look, you look too African. Yeah, you, look, yeah. you see what I'm saying? So I, 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 I see where you're coming yeah. from because the Caribbean is there, is there that level of colorism in your culture? Oh, yeah. So, like, oh, obviously, I grew up in Australia, so I have like a different outlook on how I want it to be. Oh, good but, aim, right? <laughs> you know, a bit of that tan, anyway. So then, where you have in China, historically, the emperor, he was always in the palace. When he goes out, he's always like under shade. Mm. So your color being porcelain white, China, China, you know, porcelain oh, white. Oh, that rose white kind yeah, of European like tone. You, that's sought after, because that means riches. Whereas if you're working out in the fields, you're agricultural, you're tan, you're constantly mm. out of the sun. Because, you know, Chinese people have a high melanin count. It's just subdued because of the climate. So yeah. if you're 
out, your your dark. So it's almost and like a classism thing. Yeah. Right? So then okay. they associate that with being poor. Being a filthy being, poor yeah. outside working. If you're power, you're inside. No sunlight. Mm. That's you're kind of like a, a slaver thing as well. Because if you look at it historically, the darker skinned black people were outside. in the fields, yeah. and yeah. The, the, the more desired the light skin were slaves. in the house. Yeah. Personally, obviously, I've not had any surgery, but. Even just wearing makeup. No, I won't. It's like, but, and, and the reason I won't is because I'm really not insecure. I don't care what society says. Yeah. I don't care if I've got cinema roll for my stomach and mm -hmm. I don't have a flat. We like cinema you know? yeah. <laughs> Exactly. And, but, but I have insecurities because my makeup, I wear makeup. If, I, okay. if this was a verbal podcast, I wouldn't wear makeup. Do you get what I mean? Okay. So there is insecurities that I want to yeah. wear. Yeah, go on. Go I want to just cut in just quickly because we as human beings, we're social creatures, right? Yeah. Social media plays a huge part of us because we want to compel, like, capture everyone's likes however i think the beauty the standard of beauty the beauty itself is finding beauty within yourself yeah because yeah, that's a beautiful situation in itself right and also the, the perception of beauty is quite transient because how yeah, you feel yeah, from day to day yeah, is very exactly. different yeah. but just to kind of wrap it up and encapsulate yeah. it views on plastic surgery when is it enough is it too much what's needed yada yada what's your views be as natural as you can no matter how much you can do as to everyone watching male or female especially yeah. female yeah. you don't you don't need it always get some advice See, see how people view you because you might, you, it might be people think you're as beautiful than you actually are. Mm. That's Clear. me. Um, if you need plastic surgery to, uh, for like corrective surgery, yeah. I feel like that's fine. If there's yeah. something wrong with you and the plastic surgery is going to help you to get back, back to normal, yeah. whatever that is. Corrective healthy. surgery is a bit perceptive though because a woman will say, well, one boob is bigger than the other. That's I must fine. correct it. That's fine. No, tees are, tees are like feet. One is bigger than the other. <laughs> <laughs> you got to deal with that, girl. It usually is. All I'm, all I'm saying is <laughs> if the surgery brings balance yeah. or if it helps you um, medically, that's fine. If I think if you're doing it just for ego, yeah. I want to be pretty, but there's nothing actually wrong with me. Yeah. I think, if, say you've got B cups, want to go to D or E, and I feel like that is too, too much. much. Jane? Uh, find the beauty within yourself, oneself. And that is a beautiful situation in itself. I like that. I like that. Uh, me personally, just keep it real. Accept who you are for you, because at the end of the day, no matter no matter work is going to change that. And if anybody's pressuring you to get that work, check them and check your friendship group. Um, mm. Just stay true to who you are at the end of the day, because that's 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 what you're given and that's what you've got. Is that right? Um, I think people, when they say I'm doing it for myself, I don't think they truly are doing it for themselves. I think mm. it's certain pressures or what they've heard as a kid or something that's making them feel insecure and doing it. Mm. So I think really ask yourself, do you really want it or is it because of comments or stuff you want to fit in? Exactly. And then decide, make, make the real choice based on what you're really th feeling. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we've been common sense. We've been talking about plastic surgery. Put the cake soap down. We'll see you next episode. <laughs> Thank you.